Welcome to the second episode of the complete learning series of stock market investing and trading. As always, I've put all the videos into a single playlist. I've given the playlist on the i button above. Make sure you watch all the videos in the right order. Learn really well. Let's trade together and grow together. So the second video of the series, right? So as I promised, the first two videos are meant to set the right expectations and the right perspective for you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So if you watched the first video, you clearly know why you are interested in the stock market, why you should be making money in the stock market. So if you still haven't watched the first video, make sure that you watch the first video, only then watch this video. Now this video is seriously even more important because this is the single largest mistake that every beginner does in the market and that's exactly why we are doing this video in Upfront itself. This is the exact same mistake every beginner does. I've seen the journeys of I don't know, thousands of beginners and I've seen this as the exact same reason that everybody fails. So the question is, how much money should you make from the stock market? You can pause the video, you can think for a bit and you can let me know the answer. Even if you're not writing in, in the comment section, you can at least think about the answer. How much money should you make from the stock market? Thought about it? What is the answer? Two largest or the most probable answers you would have thought about. Two answers, right? The first answer would be as much money as possible. Let me become a rich, quick man, right? Let me become a very rich man. Let me make as much money as possible. That's the first answer. The second answer is, okay, I know I need nearly 5,000 rupees every day. Uh, 5,000 uh, rupees every day, 20 trading sessions in a month. Uh, so that would be nearly 1 lakh rupees a month. I should be happy with that amount. Okay, I want to make 5,000 rupees per, per day and nearly 1 lakh rupees a month. Right? That's the second answer. Now the funny thing is when people think like that, in absolute terms, this person who said that his capital would be just maybe 10,000 to 20,000 rupees. So effectively he's saying that I want to make 5,000 rupees a day with nearly 10,000 to 20,000 rupees capital. Right? This is the second answer. Absolutely wrong. This is not at all the way you should be thinking about how much money you should be making from the market. If you think like this, okay, let me make as much money as possible or let me make 5,000 rupees a day or 1 lakh rupees a month, you're definitely on route to fail in the market. When people take this route is when people start doing random stuff in the market. When they're trading, they have no clarity. When they're investing, they have no perspective. They do not know how much to make. They do not have a target. And this is where people start losing in the market. They don't have a target. They don't have clarity. They think in absolute terms and not in percentage terms. And this is the perspective and clarity I'm planning to give you in this video. So the agenda again is super clear. How much money should you be making in the market? I'll give you the answers. Just follow that. Just try to reach or make that much money from the market. And I assure you that a large percentage of you will win in the market. So yeah, let's get into the video. So as always, before getting in the video, if you are a beginner in the market who already knows the basics about the market, but still struggling to make profit from trading, then download Market Feed app right now. You can get trade ideas of top profitable traders in India absolutely for free. You can also join their live trading sessions and you can also learn their secret trading strategies directly from them, right? So download Market Feed app right now. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. As always, make sure that you watch the video till the end with full focus and concentration to understand all the concepts very clearly. The name is Sharik Shimzuin. Welcome to Market Feed. So now the question is, how much money should you be making from the market? The answer actually is very simple. Let me give you the answer straight away. The answer is, meet industry benchmarks. Did you understand anything? That's the point of the video. I'll be taking all of the time ahead in the video to explain this to you. What is the industry benchmark when it comes to trading? What is the industry benchmark when it comes to investing? And our aim is to meet those industry benchmarks and then we can consider ourselves as successful. 
Now, even before getting into that, at least a few of you wouldn't be aware about the term industry benchmark. Okay, and I'm not going to complicate it. The whole point of this video series is to not use any jargons and to explain every concept to you to you in simple, plain English. Now, let me take some stories and explain to you what industry benchmark is. Okay, now I'll take a story which every one of us can relate to. Let's go into the cricketing world. Okay, let's take the example of a test batsman. Okay, a test batsman. How can you say a test bat batsman is successful? Is it when he makes unlimited runs? Is it when he makes the kind of runs that he likes? No, right. A test batsman is considered su successful when he hits the industry benchmark of an average of 50. Correct? When you look at the stats of a test batsman, what do you look at? Oh, do you look at his total runs or do you look at his average? Total runs can be 15,000 or 5,000. But if the average is above 50, you can say that, okay, he is a good, successful test batsman. Understood? So when it comes to the world of test cricket batting, I would say the industry benchmark is an average of 50. If you reach that, you consider it successful. Okay, another example, let, let, let us come to T20 cricket. In T20 cricket, how do you judge a batsman? How do you say a batter is a successful batter? Do you look into his average or his strike rate? You would probably look into the strike rate and say that if the strike rate is above 120 or 130 or 150, you would say that, okay, he is a good enough batsman. Maybe a batsman is having really good or high runs in D20, but another person with lesser runs, but if he has a higher strike rate, you would say that he is successful, right? Now, this is the concept of industry benchmarks. So, let's come back into the world of stock market again. In the world of stock market also... As we learned in the last video, there are two activities that you can do. Again, if you haven't watched the previous video, make sure that you watch the previous video. There are two activities that you can do in the stock market. One is trading. Why do you trade? To generate income. And then there is long-term investing, right? And investing you do to grow your money and generate wealth, right? So trading for generating income and investing for growing your money. So in both the worlds, we have to treat the both worlds differently and understand what are the benchmarks in these two worlds so that let's work towards attaining the benchmarks in these two worlds and let's consider ourselves successful. So the point is to understand what are the industry benchmarks when it comes to trading and investing. Let's take them one by one. First, let's understand the industry benchmarks of trading and understand how much money you should be making from trading. Let's understand the industry benchmark. Let's look at the largest and the best traders in the world. And then my eyes stumble upon one of the best traders in the world, Jim Simons. You should definitely read more about Jim Simons. So if you look at Jim Simons' performance, who is considered as one of the best traders in the world, he has been able to generate 70% profits of his overall deployed capital on a year-on-year -year basis. That is 70% profits per year. I'll give you I'll, I'll give you some numbers so that you can understand this a bit more. So when I say percentage here, it means that if you come into the market with 10 lakh rupees and if you generate 7 lakh rupees profit in a year, that's considered 7 lakhs divided by 10 lakhs into 100 gives 70 percentage profits a year. This is what one of the best traders in the world is doing. So yeah, that gives us an idea of understanding the industry benchmark in trading. Then let's look into India. Let's look into the top traders in India and understand how much they are generating. There are a lot of traders in India who are generating somewhere between 40 to 70 percentage returns a year. That is if they are coming into the market with 10 lakh rupees, they are generating 4 lakh to 7 lakh profit a year. If they are coming in the market with 1 CR, 1 crore rupees capital, they are generating 40 lakhs to 70 lakhs a year. That is the meaning of percentage returns. So, is it safe to assume or understand or agree to the fact that in India, let's say, the industry benchmark for trading profits or trading returns, let's say it is again 40 to 60 percentage per year. One thing to note here is I'm talking about your entire trading capital. If you deploy your entire trading capital in a year, you should be able to make 40 to 60 percentage of that as profits. Okay. Now, let's lock on that. That is the industry benchmark. And, the, and me as a trader, that's my plan also. I'll also tell my plans everywhere. So, I am an option seller, a weekly option seller. And my plan is to generate 1% profit every week. 
one percentage profit of my entire trading capital every week there are 52 weeks in a year so every week if i make one percentage some weeks i make more than one percentage some week i lose money as well so eventually by the end of the year i could make somewhere between 40 to 60 or even 70 percentage year that's my personal plan last year i made fifth nearly 50 percentage of my capital as my profits i'm giving the link to uh, the video where i'm showing my profit and loss report I hope this is really clear for you. So just re-establishing again, how much money should you be making from trading? Just meet the industry benchmark of generating 40 to 60 percentage of profits of your entire trading capital per year. Also, please note the fact that I've taken all these industry benchmarks and calculations based on the fact that you should be able to scale your trading capital. Just giving you some clarity here, if you're having only 10,000 rupees or 50,000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees as capital, you might be able to generate even 100 percentage a year or 200 percentage a year. But again, that is not scalable. That is what I'm trying to convey. I said, I took the case of Jim Simons. I took the case of large traders in India. So what I'm trying to convey here is 40 to 60 percentage a year is a benchmark so that you can scale your capital unlimitedly. One day you can probably even trade with 5 crores or 10 crores of capital. Still, this can act as your industry benchmark. Now, since that is clear, let's move ahead into the next segment. How much money should you be making from your long-term investing? Let's again look at industry benchmarks, right? Uh, let's look at the international scenario. Who is the best investor in the world? Mr. Warren Buffett, right? So how much is Warren Buffett making on a yearly basis? His long-term investment portfolio is giving him an 18 percentage returns every year. That is his long-term investment portfolio is giving a CAGR returns of 18 percentage per year. Okay, that's one thing. Keep that in mind. Now, let's look into India. Who is the best or the largest long-term investor who comes to your mind when you think about long-term investing? None other, none other than Mr. Rakesh Junjuwala himself, right? And what has he been saying about long-term investing and the returns around that? There is a famous saying by him. He has said that if you are making 18 percentage per year on your long-term investment portfolio, you are a king. If you're making 22 percentage per year on your long-term investment portfolio, then you are an emperor. This is exactly what he said. So now we have two different people, two large accomplished people uh, saying stuff. And from that, let us derive or let us agree on the fact that the industry benchmark, when it comes to long-term investing, is around 18 to 20 percentage per year. Right? Again, if you need more numbers, let me say the biggest and the best and the most successful portfolio management service companies in India who professionally manages funds, they are generating 20 to 30 percentage per year. So let's take all the data and agree to the fact that when it comes to long term investing, the industry benchmark is somewhere around 18 to 20 percentage. Okay, now let's lock it there and let me tell you my plan. I invest into a lot of stocks that I love. I also invest into a lot of different mutual funds. So all of them put together, I am aiming for a long-term investment stock uh, portfolio returns of somewhere between 15 to 20 percentage. In that way, I'm standing alone with the industry benchmark and I'm super happy there. I hope you get the point here. So how much money should you making? Should you be making from long-term investing? Every year, your long-term portfolio should be growing at a rate of nearly 18 to 20 percentage, I'd say. Now, if you've gotten real good clarity on so much, then let me also discuss three more things before we wrap up the video. Number one is, what if there is no benchmark at all? You tell me, what if you do not have a target at all? Benchmark is basically a target, right? What if you start trading without knowing that generating 50 percentage returns from your trading is a success metric? What if you do that? Then you start trading like a madman. You start doing random shit and you end up losing money. And this is what happens to a lot of people. They come into the market, they have no understanding about the benchmarks and they just want to make 2000 rupees per day and their capital might be just 10,000. 2000 rupees per day from 10,000 rupees capital is 20 percentage returns per day. And there are uh, 250 trading days in a year. That is nearly 5000 percentage returns a year. Do you actually think that is possible after listening to all that I have said? So 
Understanding what is real, what is practical, what is doable is only possible when you understand the industry benchmarks. I hope you remember the first video where I said that 95% of traders and investors lose money in the market because they don't have awareness, they don't have perspective, they don't understand all this stuff. They only want to get rich quick. They want to get rich overnight. And because of that, they don't have understanding of the benchmark and they chase, uh, they chase big money. Right? When I ask such people how much money they want to make, they only say as much as money as possible. And that is recipe for failure. And that is why people fail in the market. I hope you get the point. So it is very necessary to have a target and build out a journey so that you can reach the target. If you reach the target, you are successful. The second point I really want to establish here is my famous point of thinking in percentages right the percentage mindset so when it comes to the stock market always i've seen always traders and investors talking in terms of money okay i made 5000 rupees in this stock i made 1 lakh rupees in that trade i made 25000 rupees it is never ever going to help you you should always start speaking in percentage terms right even if you look at stock market gurus on instagram telegram and youtube they start posting screenshots everywhere and on screenshot you'll be seeing okay i've made 10000 rupees today i made 25000 rupees today does it matter how much absolute money they have made what matters is what percentage of your total capital you made from that trade what percentage of your total capital you're making in a month in a quarter in a year in a year that is what matters the most so please my dear students let's refrain from the usage of oh i made so much money in the market let's not use that at all right i made 75 lakh rupees from the market from trading alone last year i don't go around saying that oh i made 75 lakh rupees okay i know i have made 75 lakh rupees and that's enough right that's nearly what six lakh rupees a month i'm super happy with that but what should be focused on is okay i made nearly 50 percentage of my capital as profit this year that is the language that we'll all use in this classroom and in our community so please stick to that even in the comment box in our community in the live chat section whenever you come to me and talk to me or talk to each other in the community let's always stick to the percentage mindset that will only help us succeed in the market the third and the final thing i would like to say in this video is there can be comments down below there might be people among you who are thinking hey sharik there are traders who actually make 200 percentage of their entire capital in a year and that too is scalable right earlier i did say that uh, in a certain single trade or so you might make 50 percentage in a trade but it doesn't matter that's just a single trade you haven't deployed your entire capital that what matters is the returns that you are able to generate in, on your entire capital and even then you might still come and say there are people with their entire capital making 200 percentage a year doing for many many years doing with a very large capital thereby pointing to my scalable point which i mentioned earlier right yes I agree. There are traders like that. There are exceptional out of the world legendary traders around us in India as well. But they are exceptional. They are legendary. Can all of us try to be, become that? No, right? If all of us start chasing to become that level of exceptional, it might not be practical again. They are exceptional. They are legendary for a reason. Let's uh, let not every retail trader chase that. What happens if everyone chases that? What happens if everyone tries to make 200, 300 percentage every year? Most of them will start failing. So my point is, it's okay to be exceptional. It's okay to be legendary. I'm not limiting anybody at all. What I am asking you, you're starting out in the market. You're learning about the market. Now you understand the industry benchmarks. At least start out the journey and reach this level first where you meet the industry benchmarks in trading and investing. Once you reach the benchmark, once you're supremely confident that you can achieve that level of success every year, remember, 95% traders still lose money. That is where you're at least meeting the industry benchmarks, which puts you on top of the top 0.1 percentage of stock market participants in India. Once you reach there and are super confident there, then you chase to become exceptional. Then you try to become legendary. Till then, understand these are the industry standards and let's all be in this journey together and meet the industry standards after there uh, let's all try to become legendary and exceptional looking forward to seeing a lot of legendary investors and traders among you that is my uh, pursuit right to make you amazing that is it from my side in this video so yeah the question in this video was how much money should you be making from trading and investing i hope the answer is super clear if the answer is super clear the journey starts here.
from the next video we are going to be starting off with what a stock market and from there the journey will just go ahead and ahead and ahead we'll be learning everything that is there to long term investing short term trading futures and options everything so let's get on this journey together wishing us all the very best yes wishing us all the very best so still now if you haven't been a part of the market feed community the exclusive exclusive community i run on market feed app you go to the link in the description and the comment section down below uh, join the link and be an exclusive member in the community that i run on market feed app right so that's it from my side as always make sure that make sure that you smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you have been go into the comment section ask me doubts i'll definitely give you answers there and share this video to maximum of your friends family and others who would love to get into the world of stock market so the real learning starts here and i also hope that you're maintaining that notebook i've been talking about write down everything it will definitely help so yeah that's it from my side for this video uh so let's learn trade invest and grow together See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.